Hi, I'm Rachel, and this video is going to show how to do front wrap cross carry in a Moby wrap. This is a very little Moby wrap. Do you want to come up? Come that for me? Um, it rolls up super small, so you pull it out of the package. And somewhere on this, somewhere on this wrap, there is a middle marker or a tag. So if you unfold it, find the middle. Here's a little middle marker. It says Moby wrap on it. You're going to put that right in the middle of your chest and with one hand hold that middle marker in place. With the other hand reach behind you, grab the top edge of the wrap, bring it across your back and over your shoulder, gather that up on your shoulder. Same thing on the other side, so taking the top edge across my, under my arm, across my back and over my shoulder. <clears throat> now I have this horizontal piece and two tails. I'm going to take the horizontal piece and bunch it into a tube just above my belly button. And at this point I'm ready to pick up my baby. So you pick up your baby. This is Ellie. She is about 18 months and 25 pounds. <clears throat> I'm going to hold her up on my shoulder like I'm going to burp her. And then I'm going to reach under this tube of fabric, grab her feet and guide them both through. Then I'll seat her on this tube of fabric, spreading, straddling her legs around me. So she's got knees above bottom. She's positioned properly here. Okay. And then I'm going to reach behind me and find the top edge. Slide that top edge of the wrap all the way up over her back, over her shoulders. And then I'm going to take one hand under her leg and find the bottom of edge of the wrap. And I'm going to make sure that this bottom edge of the wrap goes from this knee all the way over to that knee. So I'm sliding my hand along in a straight line between here making sure that the wrap goes from me to me. And then I'm going to tighten. Uh, tightening a stretcher up, the first thing to do is keeping a hand on baby, lift one tail and just pull straight up. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Lift the other tail and pull straight up. Usually there'll be a little extra lo looseness in the top edge. So I'm going to find the part that's closest to my neck. Right here, that's the top edge. If you look behind me, that's coming across my back. It's coming from under my arm here, and then across my back up to my neck. So if I lift that, keeping my elbow out, that tightens the top edge. I'll tighten the top edge on the other side too. If you need to, you can tighten other parts of the wrap, but let me get this top edge. So I lift my elbow out so that the fabric can slide under my arm. Locate the top edge closest to my neck, keeping my elbow out and hand on baby. Tighten. There we go. All right. Now I'll place each tail nice and neatly on my shoulder. <clears throat> and I'm going to pin one tail between my knees while I work with the other one. I'm going to take this tail across her shoulder, across her back, from, and at the bottom from one knee, all the way from this knee <clears throat> to the other knee. I'll take it under that tail I have pinned between my knees. And then under her leg. And then I'll pin this tail between my knees in the back. I'll do the same thing over here. Lift and tighten one last time. Spread the top edge across her shoulders, across her back. The bottom edge is going to go from this knee over to that knee so that the bottom edge makes like an L-shaped knee to knee. And then I'll take it under this leg and I'll tie a double knot in back. If after you tie your knot in the back, so double knot, nice and tight. If after you tie a knot in the back you have some extra fabric, you could always bring that back around to tie. It's up to you. Um, and that's done, front wrap cross gay. The last thing you would do is just make sure everything is well spread across your back, nice and neat. The wider that spread across your back, the more comfortable it'll be for you. And this is a really comfortable carry with an older kid. Thanks.